Court for the remands, UNC's Gaidon Kamai and Sankel Stephen in police custody till January 21. Police conducts search operation in Kunji village in the wake of January 12 attack in which one died and three injured. People of Hauribi Makalika accused Minister Mohammad Nasir of misappropriating funds for Community Health Centre. Mahila Morcha hold awareness program for women on Prime Minister's demonetization and other schemes. And second state hood day, women's follow tournament kicks off. USA beat Manipur team 7 5 in the opening match. Hello and welcome. You're watching Impact Prime Time News. I'm Butch Melamum with the top stories. The court has further remanded UNC's President Gadoin Kamai and Information Secretary Sankel Stephen in police custody till the 21st of this month. The I.O. of the case submitted a report to the CJM Imphal East stating that the two accused, along with four others, were involved in torching a goods truck at Sibilong along National Highway 37 and they have been remanded to police custody to question about the four others involved in the crime. The Defence Council strongly condemned the I.O.'s report stating that they were not personally involved in the crime and requested the court for their release on bail. After hearing the two sides, the CJM Imphal East remanded the two accused in police custody till January 21. A large team of police conducted search operation in Kunji village near Noni aftermath of the armed attack on vehicles on the 12th of this month. One person was killed while three others were wounded when armed miscreants fired at the vehicles coming from Jiribam towards Imphal. Led by additional SP operation, Imphal West, Dr. S. Bomcha, the team consisting of Commando Imphal West, Imphal East, Thaubal and Bishnapur conducted cordon and search operation in Kunji part 2 yesterday evening around 4.30. Villagers were called out from their house, houses for verification by the police team. While the operation was going on, women of the area came out and had an argument with the police around 8 p.m. There was no report of arrest during the operation. Police sources said the operation was conducted to prevent untoward incident in the area. The Office of the District Election Officer in Fall West is organizing a mega voters awareness program on January 22 from 11 a.m. at Kuranganayani Hall on DC Office Campus Lamphail to ensure smooth conduct of the assembly polls in the Imphal West District. In a press release, DC Imphal West has asked NGOs and civil society organizations to volunteer and extend cooperation to make the program a success. The people of Hauribi Makalekai have accused Minister Mohammad Nasir, Mohammad Abdul Nasir, of misappropriating funds for construction of Hauribi Makalekai Community Health Center in Lilong. They allege that the health center has not been constructed. The locals of Hauribi Makalekai today announced that they will boycott the minister for not keeping his promise to take up development work in the area. A public meeting was organized today by Hauribi Makalekai Development Organization at Hauribi Makalekai Community Health Center. The meeting alleged that Mohammad Abdul Nasir had assured the people that he would complete the construction of the health center Lilong, which will help the people of polling station 30 by 7, 30 by 8, 30 by 9, and 30 by 10 during his term, but he had not kept his word. Co convener of Hauribi Makalekai Development Organization, Minhas. Khan said the Ministry of Minority Affairs sanctioned Rs 3 crore 42 lakh for the construction. He said Rs 1 crore 53 lakh 9,000 had been withdrawn but the health centre has not improved. He alleged that the minister also promised to build an RCC bridge in Samuro on the Imphal River to help people's communication. Aurebi Makale Kaigi Community Health Center is so nineteen eighty seven the Gi Matamdugi Mele Minority Affairs three crore forty two lakhs. Ki order my two thousand fifteen Gi December Tada Mana Mana Pass and one crore fifty three lakhs of Tokre. Mahagna promised to Rumba Portuguese Lantokre, Mahostalasi, 
Lucian may have a talk to us, where I'm drumming up, who present me, I'm not Mark of Oiko Tore and Philip Saloni. Kurai Mahila Morcha, BJP today organized an awareness program for women on various schemes launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Kurai Sazor Lekai, Tinsit Road. National Secretary of Mahila Morcha, BJP Yogita Singh, spoke on the benefits of Prime Minister's demonetization and schemes launched for the welfare of the people in the long run. She also mentioned that Beti Bachao and Beti Parhao launched for the welfare of the women in the country. The BJP leader told the meeting that people now can easily open a bank account with the help of the Aadhaar card. She also asserted that under the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, loans are provided to people to help them in their business in small sector. Yogita said she will go to different places in Manipur to raise awareness among the people about the Prime Minister's schemes till January 21. बहनो को केंद्र सरकार की योजनाओं के बारे में बताने के लिए यहां तक आई देखिए डीमोनेटाइजेशन जो प्रधानमंत्री जी ने एक कदम उठाया देश को काला धन मुक्त बनाने के लिए उसके लिए भी यहां आई ताकि बहनों को यह जानकारी दे सकूं कि यह कितना बड़ा कदम है यह एक ही दिन में उठाया गया कदम नहीं है जिस दिन प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जनधन योजना के अकाउंट खोले थे उसी दिन से इस पे काम शुरू हो गया था सब लोगों को कुछ समय के लिए परेशानी हुई बट इन द लॉन्ग रन देश को आने वाली पीढ़ियों को इसका फायदा मिलेगा Workers of BJP aspiring candidates in Wang Kai today held a meeting at Swibam Lekai Wang Kai Kuno in connection with the 11th Assembly polls. Supporters of BJP aspiring candidates Yungkam Irabot, Haubam Borbabu and Morang Tem Prafulo at the meeting resolved to support the candidate who gets the party ticket. President of BJP Wang Kai Mandal, T.H. Nandukumar, said the people of Wang Kai need to elect a BJP MLA to bring about development in the constituency. He said the state is lagging behind and it is time to bring a change in the state. BJP workers and people of polling station 15 by 21, 15 by 22, 15 by 23 and 15 by 26 attended the meeting. Kadigumba Manipura, Akwegi, Government Nama Hangwanga Magadi Masiki Kudung Sabase, Lakani, Haibu Wakalunda, Ayana, Masiki, Ihoma Sakasabani, Aduga, Masiki, Akwenapang Tokiba, Akwegi, Workers Meet Asisu, Madudani, Tasenga, Akwenapam Zeri with the Manipura, Saliba, Akwegi, how you take the Razi Tiki, can wish the young Rogadi, Pertan, the young Rogadi, Akwen Manipur, Adukim with your Sotare, Masiki Manu, the Wanki Kendra Sotum Salabani, Low in the Sing the Man, the Low in the Quiki, and we say Manipur, the Masiki. A seventh election campaign of BJP intending candidate Kesham Ningthemjau in the 11th Assembly polls in Andro concluded today. The campaign covered ward number 7 by 21 and 7 by 24. On the last day, the campaign was held from Tulihal Konjin to Yairipok Top Chingta. Manipur Pradesh Trinamul Congress and a press list said persons who intend to contest the assembly election on the party's ticket can submit applications at the office of the party at Haukip Veng in Pal by January 31. Transporters and Drivers Council warned the state government against its decision to hire vehicles from outside the state for use in the upcoming assembly election. Speaking to media persons, TDC President Hijam Ranjit said the council has been demanding to increase the hiring charge of vehicles to 80% of what they were given in 2008. But instead of creating room for agreement, the additional CEO's decision to hire vehicles from outside the state might create problems in the upcoming election. He warned that if the government does not hit to their demand, the government might get not might not get any kind of vehicle for use in the election. He also said the voting rights of drivers and handymen were neglected in the previous Lok Sabha election, but if the CEO and additional CEO tried to deprive them of their voting rights this time, they would lodge a complaint to the Election Commission of India. Manipur de Laiba, society give me a current Hajaba, Dalali, Kambu, Karadegi, Gari Loni, Mohaiba, Madu Hayang, Shoya Abakanda, Shiona, Daita Puzagadoni, Hanagi Sti and Bioba, Karishukai, Mapangi Gari, Wireless, Sinagima Matamda, Mapangi Gari, Lakra Matamda, Manipuri Gari, Lokat Badi Yaro, Ebaquina, Equina, Eti Haragasu, Hana already thirty five hundred Legre, Madu Dagi, fifteen Hakera, twenty, Hakera, twenty five Hakera, Sunga Hapro Heg, the Sunga Yaro Ebaquina, Karadosu Hengat Piu. Election to Bakuding Maki, a quick driver, and the main thing, the voting line, Matleva, 
ड्राइवर हेंदमें बोटिंग लाइन हंधक की मत पा रोए हे मलब सीओ अडिशनल सीओ की मधक् इसीआई रिपोर्ट तौने Police continued cordon and search operation in different parts of Imphal in view of Republic Day celebrations. As part of the preventive measures, police today conducted cordon and search operation in Yai School Janmasthan since 6:30 a.m. A police team led by DSPs Imphal West Amit and Rojit searched households in the locality. A suspected person was picked up for further verification at Imphal PS. People will hold a peace convention and peace rally to resolve the violent incident which occurred in Lilong Nungai in the fake end of last year. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, General Secretary of Kwai Nungsen Sinthalup Densubam Leshemba Maitai said the peace convention will be held on the 19th of this month at Iram Sifai Community Hall. He said after the peace convention and rally, people who have been taking shelter at Iram Sifai Community Hall will be escorted to their homes in Nungai Maitai Kul. Irang thok ki vidagi tha me hala phawa Iram Sifai mamang lekai community hall da. रिलीफ कैम हादना सैदांग पमदनाथी इंगलब चैना खाने मैम से कम्युनिटी अरकता खनौद खर थोद्रगु सोब लाख कमशन तौनरग कामलू की इरान थो निदी अपाब उपन पीस कन्वेंशन से पाथोसरग मसे लोरपद पीस रैली चलग है मई की मैतनी यूम यूम हंजनगनी Now it's time for a short break, but we'll be back soon. Keep watching Impact News. You may know the application that Mapung Fava Solution Pier by Dura Sign G Six 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 Nine W. Dura Sign Six 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 ไม่คุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณคุณ
One day discussion on understanding the conflict in Manipur was held at Kakchin Kuno Community Hall. In a press release, a Youth Forum for Protection of Human Rights said the discussion was jointly organized by Notice Dialogue Forum, Social Youth Development Organization and Youth Forum for Protection of Environment with the objective to understand the cause of the prevailing situation in the state. It also discussed the impact of APSPA 1958. A public meeting on democracy and repealing of Armed Forces Special Powers Act, APSPA 1958 in Manipur, was held yesterday at Purai Romba Shanglen, Andro Bazar. Human Rights Initiative, Manipur and All Andro Youth Club Association jointly organized a meeting. Speakers at the meeting spoke about the hardships faced by the people under the Act in the state. United Welfare Committee Langdum alleged that several inter-village roads in Langdum in Kairau constituency have been blacktopped without WBM work. In a press release, the committee said earlier also blacktopping was done without WBM work and complaints were lodged with authorities concerned, including PWD chief engineer. Krishi Vigyan Kendra, KVK Imphal West, ICR Manipur Center and Sahit Madhumangol Foundation, SMF Terra Bazaar jointly organized one-day awareness program on improvement of rural economy for sustained livelihood Rabi 2016-2017 at Hainobo Community Hall yesterday. Sahit Madhumangol Foundation will provide Youth Farmers Award to the farmers who produce the maximum yield this year. The proposed public hearings on child rights issues by Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Rights on January 31 has been postponed indefinitely as the Election Commission has instructed all the poll-bound states to defer public hearings till the conclusion of the Assembly polls. The Northeast Frontier NF Railways has announced the launch of Asta Circuit tourist train from Guwahati, Assam. The new train would take travellers to a mix of popular pilgrimage destinations across the eastern part of the country at affordable rates. For the first time, this type of a special dedicated tourist train was being originated from NF Railway. The all-inclusive special tourist train will start on February 7, 17. The train would take the tourists to various famous religious destinations like Ganga Sagar, Sri Swami Narayan Temple, Kalighat, Birla Temple in Kolkata, Sri Jagannath Temple and Konar Temple in Puri and Bhuvaneshwar, Lingaraj Temple. The duration of the tour is six nights and seven days and per person cost for the entire trip is Rs 6,161 only. A similar fashioned tourist train was also being planned to run from other parts towards Assam and nearby areas, therefore giving a boost to the inbound tourism of Assam. Now in sports, the second Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament kicked off today at Mapal Kangjibung. In the first league match played today, United States Polo Association USA beat Manipur team 7-5. Anna Winslow scored three goals while Stephanie Messi scored three, uh, four goals for United States Polo Association. Director General of Police L.M. Kaute and all Manipur Polo Association President Dr. K. Sarachandra and polo lovers of Manipur witnessed the opening match. The tournament is organized by all Manipur Polo Association under the aegis of Department of Tourism. Hurlingham Polo Association United Kingdom will play Manipur team tomorrow. <coughs> Re Young Star Nagamapal entered the final of the third MCA W Pralad and W Ramananda Elite Tournament. In the first champion qualifier match played at Luang Popa Cricket Stadium, Re Young Star Nagamapal won the toss and elected to field first. Betting first, Cyclone Thawiban met 136 for 8 in 40 overs. In reply, Re Young Star Nagamapal reached the target runs in 32 overs, losing only 2 wickets, winning the match by 8 wickets. Ri Young star Nagamapal all-rounder Jayan was declared the man of the match for his three wickets and 51 runs. Model club Chingamaka will play Krau Khamnam Kaithel in the third MCA W Pralhad and W Raman in the elite tournament tomorrow. <laughs> wow. 
Chalo Youth Union Club Lamlai will organize the 7th Chalo Club. The Lamlai Kendra Wise Men's Open 7 Aside Football Tournament from January 29 at the club's ground. Clubs and organizations may submit their application till January 25. The fixture will be drawn on January 27. Trao Kwakethil booked a berth in the final of the 13th Naurem Bubon Memorial DSA Trophy State Level Invitation Football Tournament. In the first semi-final match played today, Trao Kwakethil and KPSC Kakching could not score any goal in the given time. The match was decided by a penalty shootout. Trao Kwakethil beat KPSC Kakching for 5-4. Hisu Thaubal will play Sao Kakching in the second semi-final match tomorrow. YDA Kairau, ADA Arapti and LYSSU A Lilong Kaithel bid their rivals in the state level under 14 boys six aside football tournament. YDA Kairau threats LCDC Lilong Chajing Mamang Lekai 6 nil. ADA Arapti trounced USDO Lilong Maka 6 1, while LYSSU A Lilong Kaithel drubbed MRC Chajing Myren Kong 10 nil. 18 teams are participating in the tournament hosted by Lilong Youth Yililong Young Social Service Union at their ground. That's all we have for the time being, but before we wind the session of the bulletin, let's have a look at the headlines once again. Court further remains UNC's Gaidon Kamai and Sankel Stephen in police custody till January 21. Police conduct search operation in Kunji village in the wake of January 12 attack in which one died and three injured. People accuse Minister Mohammad Nasir of misappropriating funds for Community Health Centre. Mahila Mocha hold awareness program for women on Prime Minister's demonetization and other schemes. And second statehood day women's polo tournament kicks off today. USA beat Manipur team 7-5 in the opening match.